Here's two more vocabulary words, discrete and continuous. We think of discrete values as having kind of a separation or a gap between them, whereas continuous volumes exist along more of a spectrum. So if I'm choosing numbers between 1 and 10, if it has to be a whole number, there's gaps. I can choose 1 and 2, but nothing in between. On the other hand, if I can choose any number between 1 and 10, there are no, no gaps. I can choose 1 and 2 and every number in between. The top is what we call discrete. The bottom is what we call continuous. Just to make sure we're on the same page, read these four events and think about whether these are continuous or discrete. Rolling dice, I can roll, okay, I can add them up and get three, I can add them up and get four, but I can't get anything in between. So that's discrete. Number of pets, I can have zero pets or one pet or two pets, but nothing between zero and one, nothing between one and two. So that's also discrete. Now my exact age at noon today, if I have perfect precision, I could be 20, I could be 21, I could also be 20 and a half. I could be any number in between there. I could be 20.127 years old. So this is continuous. Volume of a box is the same. It could be one cubic meter or two cubic meters and anything in between. Now, formally in your syllabus, it's just talking about continuous events, but discrete events are often a bit more intuitive. We're going to talk about both, but we're mostly going to use the discrete events to build up intuition to make the continuous events make more sense.